Hello guys and welcome back to a new video and to a new backtesting session. It's been some time since I did a backtesting session, but it's the weekend and I believe that it is the perfect time for it, right? Take advantage of this free time and backtest your edge. So, as always, I'm gonna backtest my strategy right here, which is basically a zone and then sweeping the low to continue the trend. In this case, bullish trend, failing to close below that low, and then the CSS here. The CSS is basically this pattern right here, right? So, that's it. And we need a target and alignment with the higher time frame, of course. So, as always, let's choose a random day from here, from this website. Everything looks good. And... Let's get our date. Okay, so first month of the year. Now let's go to FX replay and create our session. The pair we're going to use NQ. Twenty twenty two Thursday. Yeah, I guess it is a Thursday, right? Okay, so we are ready and see how after price or after 10 a.m. See how price beautifully chose a direction, right? So this is why I prefer to trade after 10 a.m., then 15, then 30 and let the first hour or the first half a an hour passes, right? So let's do our higher time frame analysis. The more you zoom out, the more um, insights you get, right? So don't focus on this right here and always read the bigger picture. So the break of structure happened here and this looks like a retracement on the higher time frame and maybe to mitigate this zone i don't know exactly but here we are in an uptrend right let's zoom out or zoom in a little bit here i like to identify uptrends or downtrends by again break of structures and then sweeps so as always uptrend sweeping lows and breaking and closing above previous highs right so as you can see here we closed above these highs right here the break of structure return back all the way to mitigate this zone and then trade it to the upside here we have a sweep a beautiful sweep here not that obvious and then the closing above this high sweep here We are approaching this zone that we might see a rejection from. We're going to let the lower time frame guide us. We have a low here. Here we broke structure. Let's go to the 5. So go 1 minute. Couple of zones right here. We might, we might even sweep all of these, but... Let's confirm that on the one minute. Okay, so we took a simple trade from here, right? Nothing crazy, just uh, a simple sweep of those lows that we talked about here and we took the pullback to at least to this zone right here so I was not targeting the whole reversal I was targeting to reverse this whole down move but at least a pullback right so beautiful to arch rate simple to rate okay 
Okay, beautiful. So this is exactly what I was looking for. I wasn't uh, expecting for prices to see all of these or to reverse this whole down move. But I took advantage of this. Sweeping this low, these lows right here, and especially this low. Failing to close above it or below it, okay. And we also have an unmitigated zone above us. So I played the pullback into it and then price reversed. So here's a trade. Along from the 30%. And then I took my profit somewhere around here. So a two hour trade. Okay, let's continue. But the reason of why I was expecting for price to sweep all of these lows is that these lows idea or this pullbacks or these zones has been mitigated. This zone has been mitigated. Price broke above, mitigating the whole zone. Another break above, mitigating now the whole previous zone, right? So this whole range, this whole zone side here has been mitigated before. So I don't see a reason of why price should reject from. So the next target is the lows here, right? Okay, now let's remove this and let's look for our next trade. Let's go back to the lower, the, the higher time frame. I don't want to get lost. So what happened here? We swept this high, but still we will not consider this a sweep. Price can easily continue on a break below it unless we see some kind of a, a lower time frame market structure shift or something like that or a CSS, right? Candle structure shift. We might also trade all the way to this low right here and mitigate the rest of this zone, right? So don't keep your options open if you may. Let's go to the five minutes. See what's going on. Now we have this zone right here, the previous zone. We're going to see how price is going to react to it. I'm interested in this high right here. Okay, heavy trend. When you see this big down move right here it's better or it's probably time to check the higher time frame because a higher time frame can cause this and so this whole down move on the higher time frame it might be just a pullback into here into this previous zone all right and clearing all of these smooth edges right this 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 and all of those lows that we targeted, right? So we might see something like this. We're gonna let the higher time frame guide us here. We also swept in this. So let's go back to the lower time frames. This fractal right here is the SNDR, but it's just a fractal. Price can find support from it. I'm gonna wait and see. So here's that fractal. As you can see, price found support from it on the one minute, right? Okay, so I wanted to play the, the pullback once again because we swept a higher time frame low, right? That belongs to the one hour, right? So it could give us a re reaction from it. Just a wick or just a candle to the upside on the one hour is a lot of points on the one minute time frame. So this is why I like to sculpt these kind of moves while well, price sweeps a higher time frame low and it's also a sweep on the one minute so 
I can get a decent RR in here. But price left to out to me, no retracement to the 30%. So we move on. Eventually it worked, as you can see. But price can easily continue to the downside after uh, topping into this imbalance. So this is why I didn't take this. All right. I'm really interested in this high. I want to see how price reacts from it. Eventually we swept at this. Okay, so the pullback ended without taking this high. That's all right. But, but this high was really, in my opinion, was really high probable to take the reversal from. But unfortunately, nothing. I don't chase the market. So although we took that one hourly, that hourly low, which is this one right here, I was still looking for um, deeper pullbacks. I'm not expecting this low to give us the next high. So especially that we didn't really tap into deeper levels. We didn't mitigate deeper levels of this previous zone, not even the 30%. So this was what I was talking about. As you can see, that low, and once we swept it, it gave only one candle on the one hour. So on the one hour, it is impossible to trade this. You will get stopped out. But on the one minute, as you can see, huge move to the upside, right? So let's continue. Heavy trend. You can't really trade this on the one minute. You don't have something to enter from. We almost tapped into the 50%. Okay, so this is a, a break of structure. Let's remove this. Let's remove this. This is the previous zone. This is the SNDR right here. I want to see what's going what's going to happen here. Let's see if we get a sweep, maybe, out of this zone, unmitigated zone. Okay, nothing. Oh, okay. So we have a sweep here. Beautiful. Now I want to see price break above this, right? This is why the break is very important. Sweeping, but no break of structure, right? Again, the picture, I want to see a break of structure above the sweep candle. So it indicates that there is a market structure shift here. We don't have that here. So, not a valid trait. The zone is still pushing price to the upside, I see. Okay. So, the zone, just like I expected, it pushed price to the upside, but unfortunately, my system didn't give me any uh, signal or an opportunity to enter from. It doesn't mean that I'm going to change everything just because I couldn't participate in this move right here. Okay. Okay, we have the sweep right here. So here we have the break of structure. But still, I'm not really interested in this. Especially that we don't really have a, a low hanging fruit target. 
So for example, here we had this lows here or this highs, okay? So I'm not very confident with this setup. As you can see, it failed. Sometimes I rely heavily on my memory, right? Because these things repeat, right? And if you backtest enough, if you backtest every single day, you will start recognizing patterns, patterns that failed, not just the patterns that won, right? It looks like that we're gonna end the day with just one trade. I know that this backtesting session is kind of boring, but this is how trading should be boring. If you are looking for excitement, then you really need to find something else to do. So on the 15 minute look at this, we have also a sweep here. So this might explain the move to the downside, right? We are in a downtrend. We basically, and in a downtrend, we are sweeping lows and closing below highs, right? So although we are in this bullish zone, there is absolutely nothing that suggests that we are turning bullish, right? Everything is still bearish. You can take bullish setups, but remember that you are part of a pullback, right? Not the expansion. The expansion didn't get confirmed yet. Still the lower time frame is heavily bearish. I'm looking for this high maybe. Okay, beautiful trade, beautiful uh, formation. I want to trade this. And I want to take it from the 0% and only aim for 1 to 1. In this case, I don't want to miss this setup. Place our order. And let's see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is like the setup that you want to take. Obvious. There's no complications. Simple downtrend, right? 15 minutes still um, bearish. We are sweeping highs, right? Closing below lows. Again, closing below lows and sweeping highs. So the reason why I took it from the 0% right here is something called the V-shape recovery. I'm not sure how people call it, but basically um, in an uptrend or let's say on a downtrend, let's say that we are bearish and suddenly you see a big or uh, a strong expansion leg to the upside and that leg sweeps uh, high, right? And then reject from, expect price to give like the same reaction, right? And don't expect pullbacks, so V-shape recovery. And I have seen it a lot of times. So this is one example, right? A big expansion to the downside and then followed by a big expansion to the downside. Right, let's look for another one. This is also an example, big expansion to the upside and then followed by a strong rejection to the downside. And the 15 minutes, this is a sweep, right? So and this is why I'm not expecting for price to give me um, deeper pullbacks into this unmitigated candle, right? So let's see how price is what's going to do next. Yeah, so basically continue to the downside. But I'm happy with my one art rate. It's all right. So this is really a valuable lesson right here because I get a lot of messages of people telling me why price didn't uh, reject from a police zone, not this particular police zone, but in another context where they have a higher time frame zone. And then price basically did this just to went through it. Of course, you need the lower time frame to confirm that. Just because this is a higher time frame bullish zone, it doesn't mean that price is going to respect it and trade away from it, right? It's all about 
how the lower time frame uh, react from it, right? And here we don't have anything. If you think that this right here is a sign that this zone is pushing price with upside, reversing, then you are wrong because we are still bearish and this move right here can be simply a pullback into this zone and as you can see that price didn't even trade it to it because that because we are in a really heavy downtrend we left another zone right here and we barely pulled back right so this right here is not the sign to go long and take like a, a thin R trade to this high this is still in the context of pulling back into this zone right something that might suggest that we might trade to the upside to make a new high is maybe this one right here if we go to the one hour and we start or the 15 minute and we start closing above this zone right here and forming a bearish a bullish order floor right here on the lower time frames that's a sign that that might tell you that price could trade to the upside and reject from this hourly zone right but everything on the lower time frame suggested that we're still uh, bearish okay so this is how we approach higher time frame zones now i believe that this is the end of this backtesting session not the best or the most exciting session but that's the way again that's the way trading is it's supposed to be boring it's supposed to be dull we didn't take losses today but we could have easily took losses right so don't get afraid of taking losses in backtesting in a backtesting environment you want to take as many losses as you can in order for you to avoid them in live environment right learn from your losses right we all know that but it's better to learn from your losses the losses that were taken on a safe environment right but most of you try to avoid that in backtesting and trying to convince yourself that you won't take this uh, stupid trade in life environment but take as many losses as you can in backtesting and learn from them and try not to repeat them in live trading now i believe that this is the end of this video i hope you found it informative and if you have any questions dm me in my twitter account or leave a comment down below and i will answer you as soon as i can now happy trading and good luck